Sago, and this is our radio update for April 12, 2019. Uh, Public Works, um, again, we're pleased to announce that the 57th term of the Six Nations Elected Council has now secured approximately $27 million in capital project money, O&M, and vehicle purchase funding since the election in November 2016. The Phase 1 Water Main Extension Project will be completed in May 2019. The contractor will be completing one final tie-in at the intersection of Chiefswood Road and Third Line, and we will provide the community with as much advance notice as possible prior to completing. Please be advised that community members will have to pay for their connections to the water main. The Six Nations landfill site is now on summer hours, which means that it will be open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m., with the gates closing at 5.15. For the Easter long weekend, the landfill site will be closed on Good Friday, April 19th, open on Saturday, April 20th, closed on Sunday, April 21st, and closed on Monday, April 22nd. It will be open on Tuesday, April 23rd. Our next household hazardous waste event is scheduled for June 1st at the Six Nations landfill site, so please plan to bring any stored household hazardous waste to this event for safe removal from the territory for environmentally responsible disposal. Six Nations Elected Council is also proud to say that we have brought in more than $180,000 from the Blue Box Fund to date to support AW First Nations Recycling and their efforts to increase waste diversion. This has resulted in over 1 million pounds of recyclable material being diverted from the Six Nations landfill site. So keep up the recycling. The community will also begin to see construction activity associated with the landfill closure and the transfer station project starting in April. We anticipate that the transfer station will be built by July 2019 and that the landfill site will be closed by October 2019. There is no anticipated disruption for waste dispo disposal, meaning that the community will be able to dispose of their waste at the landfill site, either by throwing their waste in garbage pits or bins at the new transfer station, which will be on the same site just south of the current recycling area. Please stay tuned to your local media stations and follow Six Nations Elected Council social media and check for updates on our website for the project. In order to complete this project, we will need to bring in clay to fill, clay fill to cover the landfill site. We have completed testing on the soil and will make this available to the community. The clay will be sampled and analyzed every 5,000 cubic meters. ACON Six Nations Joint Venture, or A6N, was awarded this project, which will provide local jobs to our community members. So you can expect to see several dump trucks coming down Fourth Line, bringing in clay over the next few months. We're also working on installing a modular building on the southeast corner of the intersection of First Line and Chiefswood Road for a social services program. This is the old number seven school area, and this building is scheduled to be in place by June of 2019. We will also be getting contractors to sweep our roads, apply calcium to gravel roads, and to complete line painting in May. Particularly, the line painting will be done here in the main intersection in Oshwegan. And if you are on a shared driveway, or if you need a blue flag number, or if your blue flag number has been damaged, lost, or stolen, please contact Laura Beaver at the Technical Services Office at 519-445-4242, extension 5624. Now, some of the other projects we've got planned for 2019 are, uh, are, the, are the following. We will be rehabilitating bridge number 7, which is located on Chiefswood Road between 3rd and 4th line. This is just before Frog Pond going out of Ashwigan. That's going to be done this summer, so you can expect a three-month closure of this bridge this summer. We will also be installing solar panels on fire station number 1, and we expect to have this completed and operational in the fall. We will be demolishing the old ball diamond concession stand and building another one outside of the fence across from the demolition derby pit. This is thanks to funding from the Six Nations Economic Development Fund Trust, Trust Fund. We will also be building a children's softball diamond in the infield, and this is thanks to funding from the Six Nations Community Trust Fund. We'll be, we will be building a new parking area on the MDC General property with access from Onondaga Road for the Stone Ridge Daycare and a new parking area near the entrance of the Dead Joe building for the elders. We will also be completing the design of the Phase 2 water main extension with funding from the Six Nations Economic Development Trust Fund. 
We are planning to begin further water main extensions incrementally between 6th Line and 3rd Line and Mohawk Road and Cayuga Road over several years. This will be done by road section in 2020. And lastly, the Six Nations Elected Council has secured more annual funding from the Ministry of Transportation Ontario for roads and bridges. Therefore, in 2019, we will be able to resurface two more road sections over the original three road sections that were planned. These roads will be third line between Mohawk and Seneca Road, third line between Seneca and Chiefswood Road, Seneca Road between third and fourth line, and Road 275, which is located on Cayuga Road between 4th and 5th Line, and Road 153, which is located on 4th Line between Seneca and Chiefswood Road.